सो नाउ यू हैव कंप्लीटेड दिस कोर्स मेनी टाइम्स आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट्स दैट हाउ डू वी डाउनलोड अवर सर्टिफिकेट ऑफ कंप्लीशन सो फॉर डाउनलोडिंग योर सर्टिफिकेट ऑफ कंप्लीशन देयर आर फ्यू थिंग्स यू शुड कीप इन माइंड द फर्स्ट थिंग इज योर नेम सो मेक श्योर योर नेम इज करेक्ट इन यूडेमी रिकॉर्ड्स सो फॉर दैट यू नीड टू गो टू योर प्रोफाइल एंड सी दैट your name is correct there many times people have their email as their name so you need to correct that so let's see how it's done so for that you go to your profile click here where it shows your picture and then from there you see this pencil which is for edit profile so okay i click here to edit my profile and these are four boxes which are related to your name the first one is designation in the designation you don't put anything unless you want to put something like a doctor engineer or something in front of your name so i prefer my name to be just sandeep kumar in the certificate so i left this designation as a blank many a times i have seen student who have typed here designation so what they what do they get in their certificate as a name is designation sandeep kumar so your name is not designation sandeep kumar my name is sandeep kumar so i will delete this so make sure this is deleted or if you want to put doctor you can put dr or if you want to put mr that's your choice but i prefer to leave this blank then the next box is your first name and this is the third box is your last name and if you have a longer name something you can put here in, in these two boxes so the this box the second box and third box in the sequence will be shown as your name on the certificate this particular the fourth box where i have said that uh, quality manager and the trainer this doesn't go on the certificate so make sure that you focus on that first three boxes and make sure that, that your name is correct the problem is you can correct this name before printing your certificate but once you have printed off your certificate then changing name could be difficult you might need to go through udemy help desk and get those corrected but rather than going through that hassle i will prefer that the name is correct from the beginning itself coming to the next part how do i make sure that i have completed my course so i go to this tab where i have a course which is 97% complete if you see at the bottom it shows that i have completed this course 97% so i click on this and see what else is left out here so at the top you see there are 25 out of 26 published items i have completed so there is one item left and just on the right side you see here is the link to get your certificate of completion but it is gray at this time so even if you click here it doesn't work if you go through lecture 1 2 3 4 you see the green box the green circle in front of that the green circle means that i have completed this course many times you would see a half green half green means that you have started this course but not completed this course just in case if you get this half green you open that lecture mark as completed so once i marked as completed i go back to course now i would have completed 25 out of 26 published items still i have one item left to complete before i am able to publish my certificate and this is lecture number 25 so i click on lecture number 25 this is a pdf file i go through that and and mark this as completed and i go back to my course so now i have completed all 26 items required for completing this course so you can see here you completed 26 out of 26 published items once i have done this I, now i will be able to print my certificate it shows green here either it shows green or yellow whatever it shows click on that and with that you will be able to download your certificate of completion so here it is here i have certificate of completion this is to certify that sandeep kumar has successfully completed how to create a high quality 
Udemy video training course. So now I can download this certificate by clicking a link uh, by clicking a link here. I can download this certificate in the form of uh, JPG or PDF. So I download this as PDF. And I can save it to my hard disk or I can print it or I can save it to my hard disk. I can download here. So that's how you get your certificate of completion. So let me close this. Another thing you can do here is you can share this certificate on your Facebook, on your LinkedIn profile. So let me click here on share and I want to share this on my Facebook page. So I click here and this goes to posting to Facebook. I don't want to say anything. I just want to share this certificate on my Facebook timeline. So if I go back to my Facebook, I can see that the certificate has been posted that I have completed a course on how to create a high quality Udemy video training course. So that's about getting your name right printing your certificate of completion, making sure that you have completed all the course items. And if something is missing, mark that as completed and then you can download your certificate. Share this on your Facebook, on your LinkedIn or on your Twitter. So here I have another course which I have already completed 100%. 100%. So if I click on that, I can anytime look at my certificate or I can share my certificate. So certificate is already available so I can click here to get my certificate so this was my second course and same thing I can do here also want to download this or share this so once again I'm reminding that that before you press on print certificate button make sure that your name is correct and that name you can correct through editing your profile and this you need to do before you publish your or before you print your certificate of completion. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this course. And if you think that this course deserves a five star rating, go to the top right of the course. Let me show where it is. If you go to a course, here you have a write a review. So go to this write a review and if you think this is a five star rating, give it a five star rating. Enter your title and uh, put your comments why you like this course. I will really appreciate that because just by doing that, this promotes my course to other people so that other people would also be able to get benefit out of this course. And if you think there is anything else to be added or if you have any question, post that question on this right side. Start a discussion, add a discussion. That way we can have this course more interactive. We can learn from each other. And with that, I thank you and bye now.